All right, here we go. Quick tutorial on uh, how to put bullet lists in Anki. First, I want to say I don't know why you'd want to do this when you can use a dash or something. Uh, maybe if you're trying to make it look really pretty for somebody. I, I don't know. Um, it's really just not worth the time to put it in there, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So here we go. We can uh, go ahead and put in a... Um, when you're adding the front of the card, hit this little down arrow here and select Edit HTML. And you can choose an ordered list or an unordered list. And the difference is the start and end tag that you will use for the HTML. So basically it would go for an ordered list, you'd put in OL. And then you'd start your uh, list. I think it's a LI. Let me look here. I got the HTML. By the way, this is a great website for... Uh, learning html w3schools.com here we go li and then uh... i don't know beat and whoop. you want to have the start and end tags for everything just to follow the standard set up by w3 um, and So basically we have a star tag. Here, let me finish typing in and I'll talk about it. So basically we have a star tag to start the list, which is this OL. This is an ordered list, OL. For unordered list, you would type in UL for unordered list. And then we have the list, the parts of the list here, beat and end, and we're having start and end tags for each of these. If you didn't have you can probably get away with not doing the uh, start tags, but let's go ahead and just do it uh, with the proper format for HTML. And then an end tag for the list, so the end of the list here. Close this, and I'll show you what it looks like in, uh, in the... Uh, when you're studying it, it's going to look weird. because Okay, so here you go. So now it's so far away. So then again, you're going to have to go over to your, uh, you have to edit the card. Basically all your cards, you're going to have to, instead of having the text align center here, you're going to have the text align left. And then now that we look at it and it'll appear correctly. Again, like I said, I don't, I don't I mean, you can just type in one, two, and it's much faster than doing this. I, I don't really, uh, suggest doing it at all but uh, you can if you wanted to get even fancier you could have different inputs um, so in another one of my tutorials on making uh, multi-sided conditional cards you could do it like that and then have the the different side or the different inputs be uh, different parts of a list again I don't recommend it I've kind of gotten away from doing the uh, conditional multi-sided cards because uh, image occlusion is much faster and um, that's basically my goal when I'm making these is to be fast and spending most of my time finding the information and narrowing it down to some good stuff and then uh, as, le as little time as possible making cards. So uh, anyways, there you have it. Good luck and um, I wouldn't do this.